जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय नित्यानंद जय द्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद रात्रि दिन इस पूरे कृष्ण रूप गंधरास सक्षत अनुभाव ये न कृष्ण उपस्पर्श Throughout the entire day and night, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu directly relished Krishna's beauty, fragrance and mellow as if he were touching Krishna hand to hand. Ekadina Prabhu Gila Jagannatha Darashane Singha Dvare Dalai Asi Karila Vandhane One day when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to visit the temple of Lord Jagannath, the gatekeeper at Singhadwara approached him and offered respectful obeisances. Tare bale kuta Krishna mora prananat, more Krishna dekhao bali dare tharahat. The Lord asked him, Where is Krishna, my life and soul? Please show me Krishna. Saying this, he caught the doorkeeper's hand. Seakai inghaya vrajendra nandana Aisi tumi mora sange karana darashana The doorkeeper replied, The son of Maharaj Nanda is here. Please come along with me and I shall show you. Tumi mora saka de kaha kaam pranana teta boli jagamohan gila dari tharaha. Lord Chaitanya said to the doorman, You are my friend. Please show me where the Lord of my heart is. After the Lord said this, they both went to the place known as Jagamohan, where everyone views Lord Jagannath. Siha bale, ei deka shri purushotama, netra bariya dhumikara darashana. Just see, the doorkeeper said, here is the best of the personalities of Godhead. From here you may see the Lord to the full satisfaction of your eyes. Gauru dera pache rahi karena darashana dekena jaganata yamurali vadana. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stayed behind the huge column called the Garuda Stamba and looked upon Lord Jagannath. But as he looked, he saw that Lord Jagannath had become Lord Krishna with his flute to his mouth. E lila nija grante ragunata das, gauranga stava kalpa vriksha kariya chena prakash. In his book known as Kuranga Stava Kalpa Vriksha, Raghunadas Goswami has described this incident very nicely. Kwame Kanta Krishna Stvaritam Ihatam Lokaya Sake Tvame Veti Dvarara Deepam Abhivadan Unmadaiva Drutam gacca drashtum priyam ititat uktena dritatat Bhujanta gorango ridaya udayan mam madayati My dear friend, the doorkeeper, where is Krishna, the Lord of my heart? Kindly show him to me quickly. With these words, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu addressed the doorkeeper like a madman. The doorkeeper grasped his hand and replied very hastily, Come, see your beloved. 
May the Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu rise within my heart and thus make me mad also. Ina kale gopala valaba boga lagaila shanka ganta adisa arati bajila The offering of food known as gopal valaba boga was then given to Lord Jagannath and arati was performed with the sound of the conch and the ringing of bells Boga sarile jaganate ra seva kagana prasada lana prabutani kaila agamana. When the arati finished, the prasad was taken out, and the servants of Lord Jagannath came to offer some to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mala parana prasada dila prabhu rahate asvara dure rahu yara gande manamate. The servants of Lord Jagannath first garlanded Sri Chitani Mahaprabhu and then offered him Lord Jagannath's prasad. The prasad was so nice that its aroma alone, to say nothing of its taste, would drive the mind mad. Bau mulya prasada se vastu sarvotama thara alpa kao yaite seva kakarila yatana. The prasad was made of very valuable ingredients, therefore the servant wanted to feed Richetana Mahaprabhu a portion of it. Tara alpalana prabhu jivate yadidila. Arasava Govindera Anchale Bandila. Sri Chitanya Mahaprabhu tasted a portion of the prasad. Govinda took the rest and bound it in the end of his wrapper. Kutya Amrita Svada Pana Prabhura Chamatkara Sarvanga Pulaka Netrevai Ashrudara. To Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the prasad tasted millions upon millions of times better than nectar, and thus he was fully satisfied. The hair all over his body stood on end, and incessant tears flowed from his eyes. Hey Dravye Eta Svada Kahan Haite Aila, Krishnera Adaramrita Ite Sancharila. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu considered, whereas such a taste in this prasad come from, certainly it is due to its having been touched by the nectar of Krishna's lips. E Bhutya Mahaprabhu Ra Brahma Vesha Haila Jaganatera Seva Kadeki Samvarana Kaila Understanding this, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu felt an emotion of ecstatic love for Krishna, but upon seeing the servants of Lord Jagannath, he restrained himself. Sukriti labhya fela lava balena bara bara ishvara seva kapuche ki arta ihara The Lord said again and again, only by great fortune may one come by a particle of the remnants of food offered to the Lord. The servants of the Jagannath temple inquired, what is the meaning of this? Prabhukai eye dila krishna daramrita brahmadi dolava e nindaye amrita. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, These are remnants of food that Krishna has eaten and thus turned to nectar with his lips. It surpasses heavenly nectar and even such demigods as Lord Brahma find it difficult to obtain. Krishna re ye bukta shesha tara fela nam tara eka lava ye paya se bhagyavan. 
Remnants left by Krishna are called Phila. Anyone who thinks even a small portion must be considered very fortunate. Samanya bhagya ite tara prapti nahiaya Krishna yante purna kripa se tatapaya. One who is only ordinarily fortunate cannot obtain such mercy. Only persons who have the full mercy of Krishna can receive such remnant. Sukriti shapte kai Krishna kripa hitu punya se yandra haya fela paya se danya. The word Sukriti refers to pious activities performed by the mercy of Krishna. One who is fortunate enough to obtain such mercy receives the remnants of the Lord's food and thus becomes glorious. Hitabali Prabhuta Sabare Vidaya Dila Upala Boga de Kia Prabhu Nija Vasaila. After saying this, Sri Chitana Mahaprabhu bade farewell to all the servants. After seeing the next offering of food to Lord Jagannath, the function known as Upala Boga, he returned to his own quarters.